we are going to go ahead and box ourselves off here because I don't feel like dealing with their shit and I'm sure you don't either. So, okay. When dealing with sand, tip number one. You want to hit always hit the top block because just like gravel in Minecraft and... Or is it called gravel in Minecraft? I think it's called something else. Um, either way, it falls just like... Uh, I think it's called gravel in Minecraft. So you don't want to be standing right next to it when you're mining it. And if you can mine the top block, it obviously it won't fall. Okay, so this is the trick right here. It's very simple. This is why you need those blocks. You're going to place the blocks on the outside of the sand. Because if, uh, here, I'll give you a little example real quick and I'll do it where it's not really going to affect us very badly. Alright, so the reason I'm doing it like this is because these blocks right here are blocking the water from falling on top of us. However, if you were to just try and, you know, leave that sand block there, you can't get any closer because if you... I better be pretty quick on the trigger there. What is that, my fifth key? Alright. If I were to remove this block, like, let's say down here, because eventually you'd have to, anything underneath there, the block would fall, and obviously it would fill with water. So that's why they always put the ocean with sand underneath it so that you can't um, so that you can't dig under it and you know easily get these valuable chests so obviously if they're trying to stop you from getting them they're very valuable which they are and um, you know I'm actually gonna even this out a little bit because I don't feel like dealing with all this water okay here's another tr uh, trick that I didn't even mean to show you guys right now I'm doing I'm just doing uh, some water liquid management, I'll put it that way, because you can also do this with lava. I'm just getting rid of the liquid, so now this is nice and dry, I don't have to worry about drying. Here's another trick. You can see here how kind of doesn't make sense, how the bricks, uh, water should be able to get through there, but due to the way the game was designed, you can take away blocks on the edges. Just be careful when you're doing it, because if I were to take away this block, water would come flooding in and, you know, drown me and I might cry a little bit, and that would be embarrassing, so let's not do that. Um, alright, so all you're going to do is place blocks outside the sand blocks. You want to pretty much replace the blocks, the sand blocks. So, here's one of those sand blocks. If I were to pull that out, obviously the water would come flooding in, so I'm just going to put a block right next to it on the inside of the water so the water can't come out. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get down to the bottom. Um, this will be on YouTube, so if you don't feel like watching, you can always go to the YouTube later. This is a condensed version. I had I had done this originally, and I'm sure some of you who follow me have noticed that I'm doing this again. You're probably like, what is he doing? It's, has he gone crazy? No, I'm just doing this because if you remember the first time that I recorded this, it was uh, it was sloppy. I didn't actually have this perfected yet, so it, I kind of figured it out as I went along. I actually figured it out in the video how to do this correctly. So, I didn't want to waste your time with a video that showed you wrong steps first. So, that is why I'm redoing this uh, tips and tricks. Um, I'll probably do a recap at the end and go over all the tips and tricks I showed you. I think I've already shown you a few, but everyone needs a recap. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue on down here. Uh, it is a little tedious, I'm not going to lie to you, this is going to take some time, but the reward is truly worth it. Like, uh, there will be that one in, I think there's only been one time, the first time I played this game, that I did not find a water chest. Um, sounds like someone just got home, so I'm actually going to just continue on here. Either way, streaming. What? Streaming. <laughs> anyway, we are. Well, we're just gonna continue on down here. There is like, oh, uh, how many times have I played this game? I played this game in total. Probably played it all the way through like four times. Um, I've only beat all the hardcore bosses once, so. Um, I guess they weren't true all playthroughs, but I've definitely put a lot of hours into this game, and there's only been, and I have like five worlds, and not including some multiplayer servers I've played on, 
and only once in all those servers have I ever been skunked. I get all the way to the bottom of this um, ocean and there is no chess. But the other six, seven times I've done this, and typically it's just a suicide run. I've only really done hardcore once or twice. Um, I mean, if you're not on a hardcore character and you just want to make a run for it, and, uh, you know, you die, and if you're on a softcore, you only lose your um, money, and if you don't, if you bank your money and your items before, or just your money if you're on a softcore, if you on medium core, you have to bank your items too. Um, anyway, if you do that, you can literally just run in and, uh, actually, you know what? Don't do it on medium core characters, because then anything you pick up is just going to immediately be dropped into place. So the only character you can really do a suicide run on is the soft core, because obviously you pick up all the items and whatever gold's inside, and you'd only lose half the gold, and you keep all the nice items that you get. So if you're on soft core and you want to save time, just suicide run it. However, if you're on medium core and you want this stuff, and you don't have flippers yet, because that will allow you to swim to the surface and get air quickly, and there's also another item that allows you to go underwater and stay under there for the um, correct amount of time. But Either way, this is by far the best way to do it if you are a noob and don't have any gear. Yeah, there. Um, I can't imagine there being a better way than this. This is fast, easy, uh, fast compared to other ways. I mean, you can try and... Nope, I can't really think of any other way. This is definitely the best way. Well, obviously, if I could think of a better way, you know, I'd be showing you that, not this. At the end of the video, I'd be like, alright, well, that was the worst way to do it. Now I have a better way of doing it. Okay, I'm just going to keep placing torches. I mean, torches are optional, but I mean, they always, you know, same use as always. Help me not die, please. Uh, alright, as you can see, it's starting the um, gradient of how... Gradient. Uh, I don't know how many of you actually know what that word means. Not that I think you're stupid, but... You're not in uh, geometry class yet. Or, uh, I take things for granted. Anyway, the slope. You know, anyone who's had basic line math knows the slope. The slope is getting much... Um, softer. I'll put it that way. So you can tell that we're getting closer and closer to the bottom of the ocean, and once you get to the bottom, you're really just going straight across the floor. And these crabs are really a, an issue. They just make placing blocks hard. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to walk up here. The crabs will follow me, and I'm just going to put a nice little wall there for them so that they can't. You know they like to prove me wrong. Careful. I mean, I'm doing this because I don't really care if this character dies. This guy was just a. Uh, I just made him on a whim, so I don't really care about him. I'm trying to think of the. Is there a way I can really trap these guys? I don't think I can get high enough to really trap them, but. Whatever. Okay, look, I didn't get skunked. There's at least two chests down here. There's one there and one there. So. You'll see the good items that we get, unless I just get gold or something, but highly unlikely. Should get some really rare items that will, if I was new to the game, I would really enjoy having. If this was a new character. So like I said, the only thing you really need uh, on a character to get here is you need to be able to get to the ocean. So, I mean, anyone with a little bit of skill can do that, even on a uh, character that's brand new. Um, okay. And you need about, how many blocks did I go through? I would say about 200 dirt blocks. And just do this technique and you'll get here. Alright, so I'm going to look inside here. we got a beach ball, nine iron bars. Actually, this is one of the worst chests I've ever seen. But, I mean, it's still something. And you know what? you get a freaking volley, uh, beach volleyball. So it's something. And you can also pick up the chest, which is nice storage. It looks better than a normal chest, so... It's something. Okay. We're going to continue on here. Um, 
we're almost done with this tips and tricks video. I don't want to make it too long so that you know people won't people won't hate me when they go to do this. Wow, I almost just screwed up and killed us. But who cares? Um, so yeah, you get the basic technique. I honestly just want to show you at this point. The only reason I'm continuing right now is to show you what is inside these. And hopefully the game isn't uh, a jerk about it and doesn't give me bad stuff just to, you know, because the universe doesn't like you sometimes. Alright, it looks like there was only two down here. I've seen as many as three. Actually, this guy, the one I'm on right now when I was working on perfecting this technique to show you guys, um, oh, you should, some of my earlier techniques were ridiculous, but, um, kind of want to put them in on a bloopers reel, but, uh, this guy, the character I'm using right now, his first chest, there was three in one, and there was three in the other, so the both oceans had three water chests, and that was just magnificent. So if I had to say, on average, from my experience, there's about two water chests in each um, district, uh, in each ocean. I said district. Too much Hunger Games. Wow! Once again, that was actually worse than the other chest, and I still get the beach volleyball. I think you're supposed to get at least one rare item in each box, and I think the volleyball actually counted as the rare item. Okay, so I'm probably just gonna kill myself on this character because I don't really, I don't really like this guy that much. Um. Oh, there's still something in here. All right, trash it. All right. Uh. Let's uh, continue on, continue on, continue on. You know what? I'm actually stopping one short of where I could stop. You can actually go right onto the, yeah, right up to that corner because the corner will hold it. And you can, you know, get a few extra blocks in so you can maximize your time. Yeah, but if you screw up, I like to leave one block because I'm usually very cautious in this game because. Hardcore really scares you a lot, so I'm usually overcautious. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, just because I love this game so much, um, there there are games I could stream and probably get a lot more viewers. Uh, it's more to me about sharing what I love and really giving you guys the uh, games A I know the best and B ones that I really think are worth playing. And Terraria, in my opinion, if you have people to play with, if you have even one other person to play with, could, uh, but if you have two, it's even better. The more people the merrier. You can have about eight uh, people on any on a server at a time. Um, this game with one other person is still a ten out of ten, and it just keeps getting better and better as uh, more people you put in. But even alone, I would give this game a nine out of ten. Um, and rarely do I give sparkling reviews to games. I truly enjoy this game, and, uh, you know what, there might be another chest down here. But yeah, definitely, in my opinion, this game is one of the best games I've ever played. Hands down. Um, and definitely the best game for the price. I actually got this game on a Steam Summer Sale for $2.00. And I've put so many hours into this game. Uh, I probably put more hours into this game than League of Legends. And um, spent quite a bit of hours on that game, too. Come on. I'm just keep going just to see if there's another. You can see how the gradient really slowed here. Like, it used to be, you know, every four blocks you'd have to go down another layer. Here, it's like 16 blocks across. Uh, all right. Here's here's another technique. Um, before I turn off the camera, you can place a block, knock out the block underneath it, and throw in a torch. I'm actually going to do that over here though, so I can get as much torch light as possible. All right. And um, for those of you who are just curious, once you get all the way to the end of the map, what happens? It literally just stops scrolling, and uh, your character. Yeah, see, you can see it happening already. The screen is no longer following my character. It's actually... My character is getting closer and closer to the left of my screen because it can't go any further. Now, wouldn't that be a nice thing if they put one more chest 
here for us. Give you guys some real incentive to uh, want to try this technique. People probably fast forwarded to the end after I said I'm going to end the stream when we're like, how? why are there like 10 minutes left in this after he said he's done? And that's just, you know, me. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy entertaining. And I really am happy with this technique because as far as I'm concerned, this is original to me. I, I haven't exactly looked up other techniques on how to get water chests on the beach because it seems to be such a obscure, uh, not obscure, uh, yeah obscure, it's such an obscure topic but this will give you a, uh, I might even put this up as quick advantages in Terraria because this really will give you a great advantage if you get some nice water chests, especially if you go to the other side you're guaranteed to get some kind of rare item, either flippers or um, the water walking boots. All of those are really helpful. Um, just the way the game was programmed, I'll throw this out there. Uh, the water walking boots, if you do, obviously people might be afraid that if they put on the water walking boots and they fall from a far height, usually if they land in water they survive, and if they put on the boots they might be scared that uh, they'll take falling damage because the game pretty much treats Okay, there is nothing, so there were only two chests here, but as you can see, I'll take a step back, but um, the water walking boots, if you fall on water, even though you have water walking boots on, even though it looks like water is solid, you will not take falling damage. I have tested that thoroughly on purpose and uh, by accident a few times, so you're safe. Alright, um, i just like to show off my work here. So yeah, that is definitely a great way to get an advantage in early game, especially if you're playing with your friends and, uh, you know, you have some extra time. Like, what are you doing? Oh, you know, just taming the sea. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, this will be on YouTube, by the way, Gamma Jamma Rama. Uh, it's our channel. It's me and two other guys, actually three other guys now. Uh, we're just doing a bunch of different things. We're doing video games, we're doing card games. Uh, we have one guy who does Pokemon, if you enjoy watching that. He's, uh, he's extremely good. We have uh, guys doing... We're going to start doing Loadout. We have a guy doing a bunch of MMORPG stuff. We have a guy doing Pokemon cards. We're going to have guys do Yu-Gi-Oh card deck profiles. So we're basically going to have a lot of stuff. We just started this channel, and we're trying to put as many video uh, videos out as possible, but we're all college students, so classes. Right now I'm in Calc 2 and that's eating away my life. So I'm trying to I'm trying to stream as much as possible. I'm also trying to ooh, look at that. Goblin Scout. Uh and I'm also trying to, you know, balance that and this at the same time. So before I go, because the Goblin Scout showed himself, I'm gonna give you guys another quick info. It's not really a tip or it's a trick, it's more just, you know, info for you guys to know. If you kill a goblin scout you get something um it's called tattered cloth I believe. And if you get a tattered cloth enough of them you can use a crafting table to make it into a goblin, I think it's called a goblin standard or goblin flag, and ooh, that duck just got fucked up, um, a goblin flag, and uh, when you use the goblin flag, you just same way you'd use the sword, you put it in your hopper, you put it there, and then you click, um, it summons a goblin army to come attack you, and that's a lot of fun. If you're on a hard uh, hardcore server, I don't suggest it, because you'll probably die, but it's a lot of fun, so I definitely suggest that. Um, so before I end the stream, I'm just going to do a quick overview of some of the tips I gave you guys so that, uh, if you just want to skip to the end to see that. Um, we got this corner technique. A lot of people think that they need blocks like this to hold the water because obviously this looks a lot more secure than this, but you do not need that. You can take out those corner blocks, so don't worry about that. Um, this is obviously a quick, uh, trip. You, uh... You saw in the beginning, I explained it pretty thoroughly. Uh, you're just pretty much boxing off the whole ocean because sand will fall and, you know, so on and so forth. Um, what else did I show you? Oh, obviously, uh, I showed you guys. I want to go do a play. Uh, right here will work. Um, if you want light and there's some something in the way, water or something, you're just going to put one block above it. You're going to chop that out right there, and then you can throw a torch in there. I use that mining all the time. It's not so much even for water, whether, uh, eh, it's mostly for water. If you're mining within water and you 
think water's going to come flooding in and take out all your torches. You want to do something like that, and water can't even come close to touching that, no matter how much it fills. So, uh, or even if you want to just make a torch secure, you can throw another block in front of it, and that will stop. I don't want to drown myself. Um, but as you can see, the water came flooding in, and the torch was fine. Um... I'm sure I threw some other tips in here, but uh, if you're curious about more, just go through the video, check them out. Um, if you guys want to like, comment, subscribe, that's great. If not, hey, leave a comment, just let me know what I did wrong. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, alright. Have a good one, guys.